Last time on Doki Doki Literature Club. On Natsuki. 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 Oh my gosh, Natsuki. 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 I think this is this is the best horror game I ever played, dude. I can't. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to move. Where'd my mouse go? Ah! Okay, <laughs> I was afraid of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't handle this. Hello, everybody. Um. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, and, um, this game is probably the scariest horror game i played, and, um, holy crap, because there's multiple endings. This is the first horror game that actually made me cry, or have tears in my eyes a little bit. So, yeah. Apparently there's multiple endings with these two. There's one ending where we do both poems with Natsuki. Which we're gonna do first. We're gonna do that ending. And then we're gonna come back. After that ending. And then we're gonna do... And we're gonna go click on this. And we're gonna go back to Yuri. <coughs> and then we get the Yuri ending. And after that I think we can get the Monica ending. I think there's a total of six, five endings, six endings. So we got Siori's ending already. She hung herself. Um, we need to get Natsuki's, Yuri's, Monica's. The best ending. There's seven endings. There's two secret endings too. There's two secret endings, so we'll do those too. Cause I searched up how many endings there are. Okay. Starscape. That's wrong. Party. Kiss. Mmm. Candy. Excitement. Jumpy. Sugar. Laugh. Why is this song so good though? Marriage. Childhood. Kitty. Heart. Uh, cheeks. Kawaii. Uh, email. Suicide. Dang! Okay. Um, sunset. Treasure. Oh, crap. Okay, I think I... Nah, I did not, Suki. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here, here over the past couple days. <laughs> this song's creepy now for me. Because I'm afraid of that part. <laughs> Enter the club room. The usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Brayden. Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or is it if it's Yuri's expression. The boy weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Uh, um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading the manga at, at a desk. Surprisingly, Monika isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Out yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Something just came over me, I guess. I was not acting mentally sound. Please don't think we were usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. 
Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, 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 Brayden? Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They made me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person, and I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything in the, is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? <laughs> no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri is clearly taken back by how calmly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember if anything bad happened. You're just kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but, I'll accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, your smile is creepy! I don't like that. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Uh, nah. Well, that's like he was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was a study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <sighs> okay. Natsuki's smile is creepy. <laughs> See that? <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> she looks like she was about to kill somebody a little bit. <clears throat> I think Monica was doing piano again. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. You must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Yeah, see, I told you. No, she was playing piano. Piano? I was at where you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me any more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must be require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should probably play something us for us sometime. Uh, that's. Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Brayden. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. Uh, I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. <laughs> In that case, best, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki had already run off into the closet. Raiden? Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Uh, I suppose so. I don't think I could say no for you, to you after you gave that book to me. Well... I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she- She's fine. She's reading over there, see? Don't think about her too much. She used to being ignored. Come on, I'm going over there. Oh my gosh. But I hate the bold text. It scares the crap out of me. It just emphasizes how badly Natsuki hates everyone, and Yuri hates Natsuki. That's what I'm just thinking. What's the story about, anyway? Well, um... I look at the cover of the book. 
The book is titled Portrait of the Markov. Ooh. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Ugh. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. What the? Why would you write that? <laughs> okay. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines and lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse. They start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to- Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I I'm really into it. The book, I mean, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> that's like the worst thing! <laughs> you made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Brady? No, it's not that. I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into these those things. So she's shy and reluctant on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. Just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look out at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. And suddenly, I, I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. My whole body gets incredibly... I kind of forgot to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, uh... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. But the least I could do is listen. The literature club, after all. Uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! I can't! <laughs> Dude, I'm so jumpy today. <laughs> Dude, I just can't deal with this. <laughs> this game, dude, is freaking me out. Oh! I'm getting tears. I just saw something that I didn't want to see. Dude, I'm actually about to cry. Look at the background. Right here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry again. Holy crap. I didn't even notice that. Wow, okay. Y yes. I, I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, what are you- <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, uh, yeah. Are, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's- I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand that Yuri means about reading in company. Am I doing a Yuri ending? I swear I didn't. It is if I could feel a presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. It'd be a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. I was just... I did I couldn't... <coughs> Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. 
Uh, I, I suppose so. Nearly too many closes our own copy. Once we reach, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Okay, I think I'm doing the Yuri ending. Cause why are we doing her CG thing? It's weird. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Here he takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. See, this is her CG! Uh, I did the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it to her side. Wait, what? To the other side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's kind of actually kind of detracting me. As if it, it is, it's as if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page? Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glanced over at Yuri's face again, and her eyes met. I don't know what I'll be able to do be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes a little bit longer. It's probably the least I could do since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah. Thanks. And continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it by my own violation. We continue the first chapter of silence. Even though turning each page almost feels like an intermediate exchange, my thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as it, she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but <laughs> my character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Whoa, her face? I've never seen that face before. <laughs> oh, hey, look, they got the computer! The teacher's desk. I didn't see that. Eh? <laughs> no, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way just like I guess the things that she says and all that. Uh huh. That's what you're talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Holy crap! <laughs> she knows what the main character does, and I don't. <laughs> she probably kills people or something. Or does something terrible. <laughs> but her face is scary. And since the book is about prisons and weird crap, I feel like... Since this character feels like it reminds me of her, I think she wrote this book. Maybe. And the book has a red outline right there. If you can see that. Yuri, are you feeling alright? <laughs> Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. It's gone! The thing's gone! <laughs> ah! That's, that's scary, dude! Yuri stands up and practice... Practice... Practically, I don't know how to say that. Rushed it out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Oh! Dude! <laughs> you just kind of know her! Brayden? Did something happen just now? Uh, I have no idea. Yuri's acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. Uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Uh, should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a lot wild, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. Make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. <coughs> I think Yuri's gonna... Oh no, I don't want Yuri to do that. <laughs> That's scary, I don't want... Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's not terrible. 
It was pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one is, was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Fair enough, you're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently from each other. Maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. For instance, I noticed that you were spending some time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from every anybody, so it's not like I was writing, waiting for you or anything. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. I can't learn anything from this! What? Oh no, I'm afraid to clip! Oh, brace yourselves, guys! This is terrifying. <laughs> That's literally all it is. <laughs> Brayden? What? Why did you come read it with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. It was the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why do you ruin it? Do you like Yuri more? I think you're better off most associating with her. Are you listening to me? Yuri's a sick freak. That should be obvious by now. So just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Brayden, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want me to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. What is wrong with your face? Don't ruin that for me. Don't ruin it. Please, just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that was the ending of... Natsuki, because it said end. Holy crap, this is freaking scary. Okay. So we got... Natsuki's ending. So now we're gonna do, uh... Yuri. Yuri's ending, see if that happens. Um... Pain. Alone. Time. Dream. Grief. Massacre. Uh, warm. Oh crap. Tri fear. Uh, child. I hate this. Okay. If it's the same dialogue, I'll just skip it. Welcome back, Brayden. Okay, this is 100% different. What is happening? Oh, uh, hi, Yuri. Oh, uh, like, just, you're... Okay, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not sure if it's me or it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the little air a little bit. Uh, um, Yuri glances over his shoulder looking around the room. That's like he's reading manga at a desk. So, surprisingly, the Mogenike isn't here yet. So, Yuri take my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Oh, yesterday. I- I really need to apologize. Nothing like that ever happened to me before. Okay.
Come on. Okay. And now I'm gonna show it to Monica first. Instead of Natsuki. So how's that gonna work? Hey again, Brayden. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I want to count on that. You'll never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here we go. I get my poem to Monica. <laughs> Alright. Great job, Brayden. I was going to ooh in my head while reading it. It was really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I expected to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imaginary and symbolism. So things I feel sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's bad and it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. So don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. Like she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for alone time. Sally door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started showing, sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Okay. Already? Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. You still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get, go get my poem now. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. <laughs> okay, how much time do I got? 29 minutes? We can do Yuri's ending. <clears throat> and maybe Monica's ending too. I don't know. I hope. <laughs> Save me. If the colors, they won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Beatful colors. Flash, ng, x, ding. Piercing, red, green, blue, and an endless catophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent grating W Vef Ns Scoop E King Screech Ng Piercing Sine cosine tangent. Like play ng a ch pull board on a t rentable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rip. Oh! In intelis intel pm of n n ngle Delete her. Holy crap. This is delete who? Monica? You want me to? I mean, I can't. She's in the character files. Ugh. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Just tell me you can hear me. Anything. I'm talking to me? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, she's talking to me. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised impression on her face. Do you like it? Raiden? Why did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri, Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh huh. That makes me so happy. It's so amazing that I feel like I'm valued, Brayden. The thing that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh -huh. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Brayden? I'm not being weird, right? I I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Wheel.